I think if you're coming from a PE background, you get a little like, I, I didn't find that firms really cared what I did over the summer. Um, you know, you're, you, there's just, you kind of get a pass to, to try something different. And that was my philosophy during the summer was I worked at McKinsey over the summer and just wanted to try something different. Um, so I didn't get a lot of questions on what I did over the summer. Um, it was, you know, my initial interviews were all kind of behavioral, um, why this firm, you know, why, you know, why healthcare, why aren't you, I got a lot of questions like, why aren't you going back to your old firm? Um, <clears throat> So, I mean, like for us, like they just, I just wanted to do exclusively healthcare, right? And they were a little bit more generalist. So like maybe have an answer for that. And then, you know, when it came to later interviews, it was case study. They really dug into your deals, whether you liked the thesis, they would ask a lot about like what sectors or sub segments within, you know, healthcare I was interested in um, and why. So it got very detailed. Um, and then, yeah, typically they had like a case study where you would present your, your recommendation to the investment committee on whether you wanted to, to do a particular investment or not. Um, I didn't find a ton of the interviews, at least coming from a prior PE background. I say you I don't know, my experience was that you didn't get a ton of technical questions like in associate recruiting. Um, it was a lot more fit. It was a lot more investment acumen. Are you going to be able to make decisions, run a deal process, you know, be able to handle uh, a deal from start to finish? Um, and I, I think that's probably where they pushed on the most.